Hi, Nathan Root from CardioGage.com. I'm going to do a different video today. It's a beautiful day outside, so um, I decided I want to go for a run. And I was thinking, well, I wonder how my heart is. You know, I haven't done any tests on myself in a while. And um, I thought maybe I could do a stress test with uh, using an Apple Watch. I don't have an Apple Watch, but good news, my wife does. So she hooked me up with hers. And um, I'm going to go for a run. And once I get my heart rate really going hard and I'm super tired and out of breath and sweaty, Apple Watch and I'm going to put it over here on my chest like this and then I'm going to put my finger on the little crown thingy and we'll see what the EKG looks like. Um, a normal stress test will have, there'll be wires everywhere, with patches, and just 12 different leads so um, you can't duplicate that with uh, an Apple Watch easily, although it is possible, but um, I don't know, I'm pretty interested to see what it shows so let's go for a walk. School. There's nothing going on. There's nobody here. It's Corona days. It's completely abandoned. There's all these beautiful fields here. It's kind of a bummer. But um, anyway, uh, I'm going to go for my run. Not sure how far I'm going to go, but uh, far enough to be super tired. I'll probably go like 10 minutes. Here it goes. Okay, it's EKG time. I'm shooting for 85% of my match pretty dark rate, which is about 145 for me. It's our usual target for a stress test. It's 85% uh, maximum predicted. Maximum predicted heart rate is 220 minus the person's age. So for me, 100% maximum predicted heart rate's 170, 150. 85% of 170 is about 145. I'm not done with my workout yet. Now I do some sprints, push-ups, all that stuff. We'll spare you that. But I hope you guys are getting a workout today. And we'll see what my EKG shows uh, when we get home. And I upload it to you guys. Best wishes. Okay, I'm home. Let's take a look at the damage. This here's my Apple Watch ECG. I was going 156 beats per minute. I was looking to get more than 145, so that's good. At first glance, it looks good. I think I'm going to make it. Here's my actual stress test from a while back that I did on myself. And over here is the V5 right here. So this portion is analogous to what I just did with the Apple Watch. This is how I read a stress test. I look at this spot right here. That's called the PQ point. And over here on the ST segment, that spot and compare the height of those two things if they're about the same that's good that's normal this is an example of an abnormal v5 and somebody who had a blockage and ended up with a stent so when they did the test it had an abnormal result so the heights of those two spots are different about two millimeters that implies blockage here let's compare my actual v5 that i did on myself with the apple watch stress test again that's normal over here, compare the heights of those two, it's the same. So uh, it's a similar result to what I did in the past on myself. So good news, I got a normal result. The bad news is that EKG stress tests aren't very accurate. Even a full-blown EKG stress test is only about two-thirds sensitive. So uh, if you had a blockage, there'd be a two-thirds chance that it would pick it up. For a simulated V5 only stress test with the Apple Watch, I'd guess the sensitivity would be somewhere around 50% or a little bit more. So really, frankly, quite terrible. That's why stress testing isn't the most useful thing for looking for blockage. So often it misses the blockage that's actually present. I set up an email address for you guys to send me Apple Watch ECGs just for entertainment purposes, obviously. Uh, this isn't medical advice or anything like that. But if you send it to this email address, in the next couple of months I'll take a look at it. I can't keep looking at it forever, but for a couple of months anyway, I'll... I'll check this address and tell you what I think about that Apple Watch ECG you did on yourself. As always, hit like and subscribe for more content and share the video if you found it informative. See you next time.